Hello, this is Ron Pepper for Photo Focus, and I want to give a tip today on using Photomatix Pro for interior real estate photography. If you haven't downloaded Photomatix Pro yet, I would recommend to do so. Just go to hdrsoft.com, click on the download link, and we'll put a link below as well. But the trial's free, so it's a really great way just to get an idea if you haven't used it before. What I want to show you today is what's traditionally a very difficult situation for photography surprisingly difficult actually and it's this kind of scene where it's just a kind of an everyday real estate scene with a but it has a bright window in the in the room so there's a couple of different ways to do this you can certainly use lighting which just takes time and expertise to do so or you can use bracketed photography and use photomatics pro to combine them so i have five bracketed photos here and they're shot at two ev spacing so the, for the fastest speed here is at 1 25th of a second, all the way up to a two second exposure on the fifth one. So I can combine these images in order to make a balanced scene. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select those and drag them into Photomatix Pro. Just confirming the images that I want to load. And we're not here to talk about these particular options in this one but I don't need any of the alignment or deghosting or anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and click Merge to HDR. I'll take just a couple seconds to merge it together and show us a preview image. Okay, so immediately we have a relatively well-balanced scene, but this shows where the difficulty is when using Exposure Fusion. Exposure Fusion is great for this kind of scene because it doesn't take very much to get a realistic result. However, one of the drawbacks with this method called Fusion Natural, you can see here, is that this window becomes fairly blown out and it's difficult to preserve those details there. So as of Photomatix 5.0, there is a new method and it's intended for exactly this kind of a scene. In Photomatix 5.0, it was called Fusion Real Estate and in the new Photomatix Pro 5.1, it's called Fusion Interior. So once I choose that one, watch the window, immediately we have our blue skies back. So let's bring improvement right away. Now these are the default settings for Fusion Interior, and it's pretty rare that the default settings are going to be just right for your photo. But I do like to use Interior 2 preset pretty often. It gets me closer to what I like. And for this scene, I think I'll bring those highlights up a bit. I don't like them quite so low. Maybe add a little brightness. But again, your mileage will vary and you can decide which settings you like best for yourself. So from here, we already have our images almost there. Uh, if you look at the histogram down here, you can see there's no blown out areas in the image and it's pretty well balanced. So I can click apply. And here is where Photomatix Pro does the heavy lifting and combines the, the full size images. And those are big images, so it takes several seconds, I think, to, to put those together. All right, and when we see our final image, it also gives us the opportunity to do some simple post-processing. So on a scene like this, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of contrast back in there to make it give it a more realistic feel. And again, the post-processing is going to be up to the photographer, but it's, uh, I would give it a little bit of sharpening and probably resize the image, and it's ready for posting on MLS or wherever it's going to go. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you'd like to see more tips from me about HDR photography or about panoramic photography, you can look for me on PhotoFocus. You can always also find me on Twitter. I am at Ron Pepper.